that you are there with them. Can you do that? Yes. yes! Okay, so why don't we start our march then? I need a line over here and a line over here. And we need to make sure that our circle never disconnects. So I need you to make sure that you always have someone in front of you and behind you and follow the pace that is in front of you. Thank you so much, everyone. Let's form those two lines and let's start men marching. Thank you. Woo! Okay. Yeah, so. People with the yellow vest are our marshals at the rally here today. They are at each end point. So do not go and move beyond them. Whenever you see them, that's when you know you're going to be turning around and going in a circle. Thanks, everyone. And Kong Zhong is our marshal lead here today. Can you get a shout out for Kong, too? Hey, Kong! Thank you! We are here to keep us safe. And so if you have, need any support, make sure 
that you reach out to Marsha, who is in a yellow vest. Thank you so much, everybody. Let's start marching. Thank you for coming. Let's go, guys. All right. And then one, two, right three. Let's go. Go, go. Keep going. Come on, come Make it Yep, let's go that way first. And then the one over here, let's go this way. And help yourself to snacks and beverages at any time. We are gonna go this way. Everybody, we're gonna go this way. Everyone, to the left. Come on, left. Come on, left. Come on, left. Roy. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Gonna pass them out. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No! 
I call unnecessary police brutality again. People with mental health. It's unnecessary. We need to save life. So we end up to lose life. Yes, young was to come back. A leader, a father, a brother. We love him. We have to make sure that police reform must take place right now, right now, right now. Saving more life. So I'm here to honor and to uh, echo my concern about police reform has not been taken quick enough. I'm a leader. I'm fed up. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Michael. I'm also here with Neil. Yeah, thank you. I'm Dr. Brian Shong and we are here to support the community is heartbroken. I'm here because I'm here as a community member. I'm here as I don't want to see this happen to my father, your father, or any father, or any elder. We don't want to see this happen again. We're here to find justice, okay? Hmong life matters, and we're here to support our community. We're here to support our Hmong family. We're here to support all diverse uh, community members here in St. Paul. Thank you, that's right. See ya. All right. No problem. Okay. All right, brother. Yeah, it's good to see you. Good job, man. No justice. No peace. 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 No English. 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 Can somebody bring the, uh, oh, hold on a second. I'm looking for this one. Was it necessary? Yes. We, I'd like to have What do we down. want? something else to go you have some you some have places to go to you have something else to do but greatly greatly appreciated for all of your times and effort and for the justice that we are seeking today thank you so much for being here and the next the next speaker that I'm going to introduce to you is Senator uh, Susan Pa she is going to uh, uh, giving a speech to, uh, to all of you guys uh, to what is going on today why we are here today 
I'm Senator Susan Pott, and I just want to thank all of you for coming out today. This is what community looks like, when we can all stand together when we see injustice in our community. This was such a tragic incident that could have been prevented. There were plenty of opportunities for de-escalation of the situation that could have led to a different outcome, which would have meant that Ye Xiong would be with us still today, alive. We demand that there be police reform and a systemic change in the way that our police officers are trained on how to deal with people. Our officers are truly the product of the training that they are given. Why are police officers not trained and given more de-escalation strategies? Why are they not given non-lethal tactical options to deploy? We cannot continue the way that it is when police officers are trained to kill our community members instead of saving them. Today, we're asking for justice for Ye Hyo, and I'm proud to be part of this movement with this community as we all come together. No justice, no peace. Thank you. Let's give it a hand for Senator Susan Pa. Thank you so much for that speech. Thank you, Susan Pa. Thank you. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. And next, I'm going to introduce you to the Black Lives Matter a representative that is being here today with us. Let's welcome Tushira. Say his name. 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 Thank you for everyone that is here today. I am simply here as someone who has lost Justin Tiger, the father of my son, by this same police department, St. Paul Police Department. And I want to encourage you guys to never back down from the truth that we've seen on that video. We've seen the truth. Yes. Never back down from the truth that we seen yes. and that we know. Yes. When it comes to this situation with Yia, yes. do not lay down, do not sit down, yes. do not be quiet, yes. do not just take what they gave us. Yes. We know that he died unjustly. Yes. Yes. This was not a justifiable killing. Yia had went into his home. Yes. If they would have gave him a chance, yes. if they would have just gave him a chance, yes. Yes. He may still be alive. We have white Caucasian men that shoot up churches and schools and they walk out alive. Why do Hmong lives and black lives and other lives that look like me and you continue to not leave out of these situations alive? What I want to say to the Hmong community is we need you guys in this fight. We need you guys in this fight because I want to tell you guys, they've been killing Hmong people. I have Hmong people in our group, our group of families. We have a whole group of families that are fighting together. And there's Hmong families in that group. But it's no more silence. It's no more quiet when things like this happen. These people are hired to protect and serve, and they're only protecting and serving themselves. They're not protecting and property. They're protecting and serving property and not human life. But we have a duty as human beings to stand up for one of us. No matter if you are Hmong, no matter if you are black, 
no matter if you're a poor white person, no matter if you are Hispanic, we have a duty as human beings to stand up for what we believe in. We have a duty when we see an injustice happen to another human being. And an injustice done to one of us is an injustice done to all of us. We have to believe that in our hearts. I said this yesterday. We have to believe in our hearts that if an injustice happened to one of us, no matter what we look like, that an injustice happened to all of us. Injustice is injustice and it's wrong either way. This is not political versus um, the community. This is not black versus white or mom versus white. This is white versus wrong. Right versus wrong. So repeat after me when I say this, you guys. I usually say this at the end, but it's in my spirit to say it now. Please repeat after me. We have a duty to fight for our freedom. We have a duty to win. We have a duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose with our chains. We have nothing to lose with our chains. We have a duty to fight for our freedom. We have a duty to fight for our freedom. We have a duty to win. We have a duty to win. We must love and support one another. We must love and support one another. We have nothing to lose with our chains. We have nothing to lose with our chains. We have nothing to lose but 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 our chains. All power to the people. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you, Tashira. Thank you for being here and supported. Um, what do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice! Thank you. I think... Next, uh, our uh, uh, speakers that will be uh, one of the family members, Si Xiong, uh, which is the spouse of Ye. Uh, she is here with us today. Uh, we'll be inviting her to give us uh, uh, her message. I will show you the next one. 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 I will show you the next so uh, I'll be interpreting for her, and I am myself as an interpreter as well. So we'll see how good I can be today. Hello, everyone. My name is Sishong. I am the spouse. Of Ye Shong. I am saddened today that they sh have shot and killed my husband. I'm asking for every one of you, every one of you to think about it. He said, oh, why? Why do they have to kill him? Yeah. And, I, and out of the blue, they just called police to come over and kill my husband. I am now all alone. I have my own medical conditions. It's been difficult. He has been there, support, and cope for me. Today he is not here. 
Where else can I go to stay? What do I need to do next? Please help me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a voice for me. Thank you for being here today. And I need your help. And today the doctor has four on me. I need your help. I'm hoping that they can be able to arrest these persons and put him or her into jail. And I wanted to let everybody know my husband, he's a former veteran. Because of the war, he has lost his hearing. Mm. And now today, my kid children will not have a father. I myself will not have a husband. And we are living at the darkest time at this point. And I please plead for everyone's help. My children, they don't have a father anymore. My husband is not here anymore. So please do what you can to help. And I want to thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for, for everybody's, for your help. Okay, which other? So, what do we want? Justice! 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 When do we need it? Now! 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 No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. Okay, the next um, uh, guest speaker will be one of the family members as well. Uh, her name is Doji Lee. Uh, hi. Uh, Doji. Uh, sorry. Uh, so this, this is one of the family members. So I will turn over to her. You probably don't need me, right? Uh, probably. I probably won't. Uh, hi, how are you guys doing today? I just want to thank everybody that is here today, okay? Um, that's uh, here representing this, my uncle, okay? I, I just want to let you guys know, okay? I, my family wants justice for my uncle, okay? He has been shot, he's deaf, he can't hear, all right? I feel like I, I feel like my family members don't really know what mental health issues are, okay? He has, he has depression, that's a mental health issue, okay? He has a, a, a lot of anxiety, S, yes, STD, he's a war veteran, okay? That's mental health issues, okay? You come in and you start shooting and you start pointing guns in his face. Yes, he's scared. What is he supposed to do? Okay. Uh, and they also want justice as far as they want the person who first antagonized him, pointed a gun to him, and made him feel threatened. Now, when he retreated back and probably picked up a knife and already, de he, he probably already de escalated already, but. Yes, sure, he shouldn't have picked up a knife. But at the same time, where's the child that, where's this person or this young man who pointed a gun to my uncle, okay? I wanna know where he's at. I wanna know where the, where the person who called the 911 and just, it, I feel like they set him up. 
they, they, they antagonize him, they threaten him, and made him feel threatened for himself. And that's why he retreated back, probably went to go pick up a knife. I don't know. I don't know the story. But I'm just saying, this is wrong, okay? There's no patience. So how is there going to be any progress? Okay? That's, that's all I'm asking is that, that there's justice for my uncle, okay? I just want I just want everybody to understand what what mental disability is. That that is what it is. Stress, depressed. Okay. I, I know it might be a us young people might be like a little shameful. And we might have it a little bit. We might not want to admit it, but that's what it is. Okay. So that's all we want. That's what that's what we want. Please, let's keep fighting. I'm I'm actually from Michigan, and I'm coming to fight for my uncle. Okay. This is wrong. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you for that message. Uh, the next uh, guest speaker will be uh, Trahan Crew from the Black Life uh, Matters representative. Um, may we have? Kevin? Thank you, sir. Say his name. Yes, sir. Say his name. Yes, 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 what happened to Yee Zhong should never have happened. Once he was inside of his apartment building, they should have called for mental health co-responders. The city of St. Paul already has mental health co-responders as law here right, right. in this city. So there's no reason why mental health co-responders should not have been called to the scene. Instead, the St. Paul Police Department decided to de-escalate the situation, which ultimately led to Yia Zhong's murder and death. Also, a taser could have been used. There could have been a lot of situations that could have been used to prevent the death of Yia Zhong by the St. Paul Police Department. Yes. So we're here, yes. BLM Minnesota is here to stand in solidarity with your community to demand that those officers be fired and that charges be brought immediately. No justice, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. No racist, no, no racist no for peace. peace. No racist no for peace. peace. No justice, no, no peace. peace. Say his name. Yes, yeah, sir. 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 Thank you, peace. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the great speech of yours. The next rep uh, the next guest speaker will be John Thompson, former state representative and rep um, representative representing the fight for justice. Yes, uh, John. Hey. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I don't really need a microphone. No justice! No justice! No justice! No justice! No prosecute the police! No justice! No justice! No justice! No prosecute the police! You know. Shout out to Alexander Bourne, who's running for city council here in Ward 7. Um, I wanted to make sure that I, I, I highlight that. Nobody should die in this manner at the hands of people who are supposed to protect us. Nobody, and I'll say it again, nobody should die in this manner by the hands of people who are supposed to protect us. This man is standing down the hall. Listen! And you're here, you have no reason to shoot. This ain't a Call of Duty video game. Listen, I want to hear about police officers have to make split second decisions because in that split second, you should have shown some humanity to the family and the people in that building. Right. Here I am again. again. Here I am again. Listen, I was just here last week. Here I am again. Yeah. Fox News. Here I am again, Carrie 11. Here I am again, media. I told you I'm not psychic, I'm just black. I told you I'd be here again. I told you the St. Paul police is going to kill somebody again this year. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! 
He let him again trifecta. He let him again trifecta. House, Senate, and Governor. Here I am again. I'm not psychic. I'm just black. And the police are going to kill somebody again this year unless y'all put some accountability pieces in the law. And I know to my mom community, to my mom community, I love y'all. Y'all know I stand in solidarity with y'all no matter what. I'm right here. No joke. All day, every day. Every day. I know y'all hold the rhetoric. Where black men, only black lives matter, black people only show up when police kill black people. No, we show up when they kill Fumi Lee. We show up when they kill Justine DeMond. We show up when they kill this brother right here. And we're going to show up and stand in solidarity with anybody who is unjustly killed by these racist police right here in the state. I'm sorry. We're going to continue to show up, speak out. But it's not a political ploy for me. This is not a photo op for me. I am sick of losing people to police officers who are trigger happy because the law protects them. I am sick and tired of standing here. Yeah. I can care less who don't like the tone of my voice. I don't like seeing people getting killed by the police unjustly. So here I am again, Carrie oh. Levin. Oh. Here I am again, Fox 9. Let's here go. I am again, King Demetrius, telling you that we're going to be here again Let's this go. year because the police are going to kill somebody again because they have no fear of anything happening to them. No concussions or consequences. Thank you. Thank you. Before I go, I know the mayor of St. Paul, and it's not a shout out to you, so please don't take it personal. But I know that your job is to uphold and protect the city. But stop protecting the city from killers. Who get out here and make a statement about killers. There ain't no justice out here. So we will not give you no peace until you prosecute these killer police in this state. The last thing I'll say, because I always say this and people think I'm weird, but I'm not weird, is I come out here with my loud voice because my voice is a tool. My voice is a tool that I use to actually bring accountability, to bring awareness to what's happening and it's not right what's happening in this state again 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 and again over and over again these police officers in this state have no fear of anything happening to them this is one of the most racist police departments in the united states of america and a snake could change his skin y'all can give us cosmetic change a snake will change his skin but it's still a snake Y'all give us cosmetic change, but you got to give us some accountability pieces put in the law. We don't want cosmetic change. I know, I, you know we got a new, a new police chief, but the culture within policing needs to change. Not the faces of the snake. The culture of policing needs to change in this state. Not the I hope I'm making sense to y'all because I'm making a whole lot of sense to myself. I hope I'm making sense to y'all because I was here... 2016. I was here 2017. I was here 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22. And here we are again. 2023. Am I crazy? No, you're not. Am I crazy? No. I watched the snuff movie yesterday. I watched the young my, 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 uh, one of our elders get snuffed out because they're, they're trigger happy. Y'all shouldn't have gave these police militarized weapons because now they use them like they're playing a game of Call of Duty in our state against our people. And time and time again, I seem to see y'all de-escalate white people. I don't care what you say. I seem to see y'all take white people to jail in handcuffs. I seem to see y'all take white people to jail in handcuffs. I'm not racist. I'm just black. And I'm telling you what I see, Fox 9. I'm telling you what I see, Karen Levin. Play that shit on Alpha News. Last thing I'll say is I love y'all, and there really ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Can I get y'all to hold y'all fists in the air one time? My brothers and sisters, when we put our fists in the air, these are our antennas, our antennas to our loved ones. Nice and high, y'all. Nice and high. This is what we call unity. I love y'all, man. Y'all have to start loving on each other. And the last thing is, we have to show up and show out and speak out every time. Every time. Not give these people no passes. Don't give the governor a pass. Don't give the mayor a pass. And damn sure don't give the police a pass. Here's, here's what we say. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No justice! No we didn't prosecute the police.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sa Mr. Thompson, for uh, that great speech. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting. And uh, the next uh, guest speaker will be the first, the only. Oh my gosh, it's so cold on the uh, on Friday. You take it out into the police stations in downtown Snowden, Mr. Snowden. Her. Uh, it's cold. He's been there chanting. We all being there as well. Welcome, Mr. Uh, Snowden for. Thank you, thank you. All right. First of all, I'm gonna speak Hmong because, uh, yeah, it's Hmong. He doesn't, he did not speak English. He no longer speak English. Well, เทตาวจีเชียหังจอชิตอมอลตือหลอกกูเทเลตัวมูเกปายยอตะตูทะจอฮอกลุนนังชตาวดวานูไฟเดอออนเดิมตะกูชานเดอกูตอกปาตีน
alley, next, next rally, and next protest will be announced in the near future soon. Thank you for all your help and we, what do we want? Justice! Justice. When? Now. now! What do we want? Justice! Justice. When? Now. now! Who do we want justice for? Yes, Lord! Thank you. Thank you. Repeat to me. Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord! Yes, yeah, so. yeah, so. yeah, so. What do we want? Justice. 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 When do we need it? Now. When do we need it? Now. No justice. No peace. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Especially all every single one of you. It's cold. I know. It's cold. I know you have things to go again. I know you have place to go, things to do, but thank you for being here. You guys are the voice, the body, the change, everything that is possible. It's all because of you guys. So thank you for being here. And I'm hoping that the next rally that is going to occur, I want to see a massive arrival. I want you guys to be there. Tell your friends, tell everyone, we need justice. And thank you for being here. Chu and uh, at the end here, I just I wanted to once again thank you to uh, Senator Susan Pa, uh, the Black Lives Matter to Shura, and Si Shong, the spouse of Mr. Ye Shong, uh, uh, and Tarvin and John Thompson. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your great speech. Thank you for your movement. And uh, we will continue to uh, march until 4 o'clock. And the next, um, we also going to have a uh, candle vigil at, uh, Ms. at uh, the Wolos Commons apartment where uh, Ye is staying, uh, where he is living. And that address, just in case some of you don't have it, the address there is 1... 60 Western Avenue South, St. Paul. Once again, that address is 160 Western Avenue South, St. Paul. So please join us there 430. 430 for the candle vigil. And I'm hoping to see every single one of you over there. And thank you so much. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. When do we need it? Now. For who? Yeah. For who? For who? Yes, no justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. No justice? No peace. I am death. No I am death. No I am death. No I don't speak English. No I don't speak English. No I don't speak English. No Thank you everyone. Thank you for being here. Let's continue marching. Let's continue showing the police department that we need and we demand change. Thank you so much for being here. So uh, we have uh, waters, hands warmer, granola bars, some things on this cement uh, 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 ball line. So grab some things. Water, uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 uh,
I am just out here. Uh, I see a couple of you on my Facebook now. Well, see your name and talk about why you're here. Um, I would just like to see uh, justice for everyone and for the police officers to be better trained so they can de-escalate situations and not come running in with guns drawn before they know what's going on. Thank you. Yep. Thank you yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and my support to the family. I'm glad we're here. Yeah. เดี๋ยวเลยเอ่อกติมองกระแม่ไปพ่อเนี่ยเอาหน่อยเลยเลยกติมองเอาหน่อไปมั่วอ่าอีปอดตะพาตุนึงนู่นน่ะจิมั่
we need it? When do we need it? When do we need it? No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. 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 เจ้าเนี่ยเนาะเยียโตเจ้าหน้าที่ตํารวจตัวเขาเป๊ะปอดได้วิดีโอเนาะเขาหนูมูเจ้าเฮาหนูรู้เจ๋อเหรอแล้
ตุ้มยอดเป็นจังนะเป็นคันชิบิวแต่จีทอลเล็บฟอร์แต่เป็นมุนงไก่เจอแต่ชีเป้ยยาวแต่ฟอร์แต่เป็นจีนงไก่เ
我讲好冇 awkward response 啦，一度好 support 多，啊一度好多 taste 啦，就当然今年一度蒙天啦哟，啊，也有你讲我哋讲，啊，即系老蒙多啲啊，诶，佢哋佢哋同你都去攞路啲嚟哟，咪可能以后佢保下啲啊 ，we have to demilitarize our police force， ok， 诶。ก็มูดเขาเสียงกันก็จะให้พาวไรฟูมอนชินะคนน้องแหละคุณก็ให้นะเจ้าเออเออก็ก็ก็ให้พาวไรฟูมูก็ติดตัวก็ติดสตัวเอเลนน้องนะ this is not we're not playing video game we are playing with people's lives จะต่อชิดต่อก็ต่อลงมาแค่ตัวก็ทับพอซะนะ we're at we're not in a battle zone จะคนน้องคุณป๋อเตี้ยนี่ว่าชี้ย่ออย่างคนน้องก็คุณตัวน้องคุณป๋อเตี้ยนี่ชี้ย่อเลยแล้วก็เตี้ย consistently ตอบ过么帮么？哈的，可能觉得太绕着呢。被包绕啊，不应掉了么？那样，还有么？有么？差什么？么叫 community 解什么嘞？这些嘛，为啥的？也个只 continue 的中介，不要忘记 continue 的中介，不要忘记做中介啦。别么一波爬来忙呀，后面的收单了呢。我讲多少呢 ？Less than hundred people. Very sad. 到早有呢，到了家已经到了家啊，阿边都早有了呢。呼。啊，同你又又要揸嘢，同你要开啊，都 share 啲，攞啲都摆要添啦嘛。唔使啊，就俾我嘛，俾住又我再另一度，就俾我再望蛋托。唔嘅，就可能好古薄咧，嗱先系，古啲啲，你攞啲攞咪就攞个多多。No in， no in， 你快啲啦，古古你古系咩？古 really applaud snowing 呀。哇，你攞攞咪就嚟你冇打你啲啊，你攞打到咪古好似种咩古啲全部先。啊，就要你拿嘛嘛，你拿，我再叫这里加来一多多，一多么炒，一多多拿多么炒，到时融化的，估摸就落，也就落就中了，也别叫那也别多么炒了，是啦，啊，别多么要别炒了，是啊，叫来中了，是，今天到那些，别用来装东啊，别用装装在叫，是落多呢，也可能也好用些，弄那都包干那些，古包装来都都用那些。誒，就係咁啊！即係我因為你用車嗰部就攞得好啦 ，because 你又比較先出。係，我做咧，我做。嚟，我做。Thank you. Thank you. 我揾到廿幾個